Sean Sport in podcast form. If you're watching the tennis on Channel 9, you'll now be able to see um, Aussie tennis star John Millman in the commentary box after he was outed in the second round. Um, I think he's just trying to get a couple more bucks and possibly <laughs> play uh, as little tax as possible in Australia. Good morning to you, John. <laughs> Good morning, guys. No, yeah, I've got to, um, I've got to do something to keep me busy, don't I? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, when those twins on Harry Potter had finished filming, they um, were served as um, a PAs to the rest of the actors. So that's <laughs> yeah. basically what you're doing right now. I mm. think it's fantastic. Yeah, I can always do that. I might even, you might even see me in the string room. I might start stringing up a few of their rackets. <laughs> oh, something yeah. like that. Can yeah, you, can you, can you string a racket? I can. It takes me a long, long time, though. Really, I'm terrible. Those. The stringers, honestly, at the Australian Open are yeah. incredible. They, so, they they start at six in the morning, yeah. they finish at like midnight, and they're stringing nonstop. It's, so, it's actually incredible. How long would it take them to string a racket, do you reckon? They're doing it in oh, probably a little under 20 minutes. Wow. 15 to 20. For me, it's taking me about 50 minutes, and I yeah. am slow as, and, and when it comes out, my tension's all over the shop. <laughs> yeah, right. And well, that's, can't play do, with do it. tennis racket strings, do they come on a roll? Like, I've never even known yeah, where yeah, you like would get... Yeah, like a fishing get, line. Yeah, what, a, how do you get a tennis... It, a, it actually depends what type of string you use. So I use, like, a um, like a polyester string. Yeah. So that... A nylon-y polyester string. So that comes in a big reel, 200-metre um, reel. 200 metres? Some, some people will, will use, like, natural gut... So that's actually like pig gut. Oh yeah, wow. yeah, yep. And and they come in individual sets. That has to actually be seal locked because you have to keep that fresh because it's if you get any moisture. Yeah, if it gets any moisture or anything, it actually ruins the string. But so, if it gets too so hot while job. they're playing, it does it start to smell like bacon? <laughs> Matt, you're right, Matt. <laughs> no, you can't eat it. It's not edible. It's not <laughs> just, edible. Just have, just, have a, just have a lick during the <laughs> game. Um, <laughs> and just quickly on the 200 metre roll of string, how much does mm. that retail for? <laughs> Oh, a few hundred dollars. I get mine for free. Oh, so yeah. That's, so that's yeah. a good thing from the sponsors. Yes. But yeah, no, a few hundred. But, you know, as us tennis players, we're probably going through a racket every uh, hour of play. Oh. Yes. So, yeah, you have to... Yeah, luckily the, the sponsors do give that for free. Otherwise, I'd be having to do even more of these kind of... Uh, Gigs for the players. Yes, wow. exactly. Exactly. Isn't that hilarious that they go through um, a racket an hour, whereas mm. if anyone else owns a tennis racket, you've yes. got it for life? No, for life. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. We've got. We went to Rebel Sport and we got yeah. a racket <laughs> and we're using it forever. Oh, well, John, let's talk about the match last night that you yeah. were um, your great mate, um, Alex Dimina, who was playing, mm. and he, he got really wiped off the floor. And Alex, in the press conference afterwards, he was a bit nonplussed about what more he could do. He just thought... Uh, I, he just thought that he copped Rod, uh, sorry, Novak at the worst possible time. He was, he was just on fire. I do like how they were calling it workplace bullying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah he, no, look, and, and sitting courtside on, on, in the bunk, uh, you could see just how good and, and locked in Novak was. I can't stress enough how good Alex Dimonor is. He's yeah. 23 in the world, and this sport is yeah. played in 180 countries. And then this guy's the 20th best player in the world, and then he goes up against the Novak Djokovic, who's, who, who couldn't have played any better. He was locked in from the very start, and he was seeing it like an absolute football. Um, it goes to show just how good Novak is. He's one of the greatest ever, and to see him in full force was a sight to be reckoned with. It well, was incredible tennis from Novak. Well, John, you know a lot about Novak, playing him along yep. the journey as well. Uh, how How is it that he, and, and Rafa's the same in over at the French Open, how can they dominate in a particular area Arena uh, for mm. so long because he's heading towards his tenth time. Yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously he feels super comfortable in this environment and on these courts. You know, these hard courts they're they're not the highest bouncing courts, so it's really hard to get it out of this slot, especially in that night time slot, which is what you'll see him play in a lot. So it's really hard to get it out of his strike zone, and I think Alex probably um, struggled to do that last night. Um, but he's just so comfortable here. He's, he's one of the best hard court players we've ever seen. In men's tennis, yeah. he, he he's an absolute freak. Um, he's moving well. There was no sign of that hammy issue last night. I think he said in his post-match uh, press conference with uh, Jim Courier um, that his hammy actually felt really good no, last he night. He fakes that, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. I reckon, I reckon that uh, he yeah. does it all the time. It's, it's, I think it's, it's a faker. Time, Have you ever thought of um, of uh, whispering to him, like you know, if you're against him or before the game starts? There's vaccine on this ball. <laughs> 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 no, look, mate. <laughs> no, look. He is he is an absolute freak, and and 
you know, maybe you have to dabble with the dark arts to beat him because he, <laughs> he honestly, the guy, I, I've run out of superlatives. Yeah. He's a joke and he'll go down possibly as the, the greatest player in history. And when I you, know, when but people don't like him, John. Time, people do, he's not likable like is, Roger. Is, is he doesn't that have that, that beautiful nature to, to us anyway. Like John like, Millman. Like, yeah. yeah, like the John, yeah. Good so, call, but, Look, so do you know he, him? What's he actually like as a person? Yeah, I, I, look, I actually like Novak. He, he, he is divisive. He, he's opinionated. Um, and, and you either love him or, or you don't. And, and I think in every good story, there needs to be a villain, right? And some people yeah. like to, to make him a villain. But um, he is a good guy. I've played so a few a times, good actually. And I like him. Yeah, look, mm. he, he's always been re- really generous with his time towards myself. Um, I was looked after incredibly well when I went to Belgrade a couple of times, which he hosted this tournament uh, at Novak Tennis Centre, aptly named. Mm-hmm. And um, I've always been really welcomed in his country by his family, by himself. So, look, mm-hmm. I, I like Novak. I just think in every story, it's great to have a, 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 a hero and a villain. And I think for a long time, that hero was Roger Federer, and uh, and the villain was Novak, but really, I can't I can't tell you yeah. how good he is. He's mm. a freak. Hey, um, John, I want to ask you: where, where's your base? Are you in Monaco? Are you one of those people who? Um, no, I pay I pay the I pay the full whack of Australian taxes. <laughs> Norman Park, Brisbane, Australia. I, uh, <laughs> Why are you paying? No, I, you're the only one who's paying tax. What yeah, are you doing, mate? Get to Bermuda, buddy. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I just love I just love home so yeah. much. We don't get to spend too much time at home. Probably one month a year. Yeah. Um, but I plan to spend a lot more time when I when I eventually hang them up. But um, no, I, I love Australia, and uh, the more you travel, actually, the more you realise just how good it is back home. Yeah, so love here. Australia, love its people. Yeah. Yeah. have no problem. Uh, basing myself out of here. Yeah, he's here just like paying Australian prices, Sean, like the rest of us. <laughs> when he's hungry, just licking his pig strings. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. John, this is, a, this is a bit of a personal question in a way, but does it take long to you get paid from the Australian Open? So, you, <laughs> when, it, Yeah, when does the cheque clear? Yeah. <laughs> Look, they're normally pretty efficient. Um, I, I did check my account last night. I haven't been paid just yet. But, <laughs> but by, tour- by tournament's end, it's, it's, it's normally in your account, which is... Yeah. Which is nice. It does pay the bills. Look, the Australian Open, Wimbledon, French Open, US Open, they're the four biggest tournaments of the year, obviously, the Grand Slams. Yeah. And I know it looks like a lot of prize money, which is great, but our expenses are, are really high throughout the year. Yeah. You know, I probably do it a little bit cheaper than some of your top players who have an even bigger extensive team, but my expenses would run up to 300000 a year easily. Yeah. Mm. So... Um, you do have to try to cash in at these big tournaments and that's why people are really trying to peak when these tournaments come because they're the biggest tournaments they're the most enjoyable to pay uh, to play but you also get paid so it's really important for a lot of the players both in qualifying and main draw to do well to try to set themselves up financially for the year for sure do you ever flog anything like some some extra balls or anything well there's towels and stuff you see what do you flog don't tell Craig Tiley, Wait, tournament mm-hmm. director of the Australian Open, but I've got about seven of those Australian Open towels. That's good, isn't uh, it? It's always hard to fly home with all of them, but <laughs> I've got a big family back home. I've got lots of sisters. I've got yes. nieces and nephews. Um, so they'll all They've get all a, got a Australian towel Open towels. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll keep one for the golf bag too. Yeah, Sorry, yeah that's a good are idea. Are they Ralph Lauren towels? Because everything else Australian Open merch is Ralph Lauren, and like a backpack's four hundred and sixty mm. bucks. No, they are Ralph Lauren. Um, That's proper you theft. Can buy, you can buy them in the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're, uh, yeah, they're right. pretty expensive. So maybe I might set up a little yeah. stall outside. Oh, yeah, just resell. <laughs> yeah, just outside. John, before we let you go, yeah. Who, yeah. who can beat Novak? Anyone? Sits a pass, maybe? Look, if, if he plays like he did last night, no one can beat him. Yeah. But you, it's not always easy, even for the best players, to play their absolute best. And I don't think we're going to see a much better version of Novak this tournament. Um, the guys that can beat him, we've seen Sissi Pass beat him before, have a little bit of success against him. Um, his next round's opponent is Andre Rublev. Now, Rublev yeah. did beat him in Belgrade, but Novak was a little bit underdone. That's when he couldn't actually travel to many tournaments. So, yeah, um, yeah look, the, the one that springs to mind is, is probably a, a, a Sissi Pass, but I'll tell you what, if he plays like he did last night, no yeah, one's touching. Untouchable. All right, guys, you can watch the Australian Open live and free on Channel 9 and 9 now. Um, John Millman, absolute pleasure talking to Good on you, uh, buddy. you this morning. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, he's better than Google, isn't he? He's brilliant. <laughs> he knows oh. things. <laughs>
In the BBL, the uh, Sixers are on fire at the moment. Steve Smith's been playing for them back <laughs> from did, the Australian did team. Did all right. He scored 328 runs in the last four matches. Yeah. Only a last a four lot. matches. So yeah. he's killing it right. So he's playing for the Sixers who are coming over to play our Scorchers here on Saturday night mm-hmm. in the first qualifier, the first final. And we they get the benefit of having him, even though that he'll be is selected to play for Australia in the next tour overseas, yes. the test yep. tour. He's still able to play and finish okay. out yeah. the big BBL. Surely that's Ashton the same Agar, for all of the Australian players. Ashton Agar, he had to sit out the, the match the other day. Why? Because yes. the Australian cricket officials didn't want him to get injured because he's going to a bowling camp, a bowling camp in Brisbane, where they're getting all the the bowlers, the fast bowlers and spinners, to be able to get together, come up with plans for that test series. So I do. they so, didn't want him to get injured for a camp, but yet they don't mind Steve Smith getting injured before the tour. The tour. Yes, it doesn't seem fair. You know what? You in say? WA, I know that we've got like a mindset that everyone picks on us, but everyone does pick on us. It's so unfair. It's, it's like a rule for them and it's a rule so for unfair. us. so unfair. I forgot to mention this yesterday because I was watching Justin Langer and his commentary and he was saying, as an Australian coach, mate, you need to see these players playing. And even yes. if he's playing the short form of the game, which is different to bowling spin and playing over in the subcontinent, you match fit, you've got your head in the game all the time. Yes. And it's best for the Australian public to see the best players playing in this comp. Of course. Why wouldn't you have the Agar playing against Steve Smith. It's a final for each franchise. Yes. They're trying to win. And you also, want the best players playing. Um, Ashton Camp, his a tour. That's the excuse. Yeah. Makes no sense. It makes no sense. Who cares if he gets injured in front of a camp? He, oh, well, he, that's leading into the tour. Yeah, I so, know yeah, that. Yeah, but, yeah. like, you know, it, it but, but why would they? It it's should the same be thing as is, It should be equitable. Steve Smith. If, they're, if, they're, if you've selected to go to India, then you either none of them play or all of them play. Yeah, I agree with that t- wholeheartedly. I mean, getting together to come up and with so, plans, you can do that But overnight. then again, maybe Ashton is one Skype. Maybe Ashton's like, oh, we could. We've, um, <laughs> do we have a few bowling issues then? Because Matt, Matt Kelly's, Kelly's obviously young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we do have um, Morris to be able to come back into the side. So- the wild thing. Uh, Morris, the wild mm. thing, to come back into the side as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's a number of options that are still there waiting to play. We'll be fine in that respect, but we'd like to be playing our best players because yeah, he not a, he can bat yes. and he can also and he's a good um, fielder yeah oh, he's a, takes a great catch the other one that we haven't mentioned is uh, well I certainly haven't talked to you guys about is Peter Bowl mm. yeah this and is and shocking, his isn't it? a sample testing positive to a synthetic EPO yeah, yeah. in today's article in the paper obviously uh, you know his management team are like mate. You know, he's in he's in all kinds of trouble, yeah. his defence team, because they believe that his B sample will just come up positive anyway. I believe, uh, I'm believe. i surprised that they the go case. public before they test the B sample. Yeah, that surprised me a lot. It's a bit like shit stirring, to be honest, <laughs> um, before they've got any evidence and stuff like but, that. But, but um, can I just ask, how yeah. would one take this? It's injected. So, I mean, he's yes, it's not categorically saying yes. that he has not yes. done this. So and it, you can't, it's not accidentally ingested yes. or something like that. can't know, be put in a smoothie or something. In, in a dodgy state. So it has to be injected. So, so you're calling into question the testing facilities of um, WADA or ASDA, whoever was taking this stuff as well, because they're, yeah. he, they're, they're saying, oh, my, oh, got nothing yeah. to yeah. do with Case it. Closed. As every athlete in the world has ever yeah. Yeah, So right. say if it comes down to the fact that they um, were saying, well, there must have been a mistake at the testing facility, and then he's saying, well, no, because I didn't do it. Yeah. Mm. Do they come down to the point of getting a lie detector test for him? No. Where does no. It no. So, so, it just, where, so they went it out. So yes. Yeah, this yes. is what Shana Jack went yes. through because she vehemently yeah. denied it and said it must have been an accidental injury. Ne- it needs like to that. go further. If and someone is adamantly saying out. that they are innocent, then yeah. that, I mean, but like, I mean, everybody does, Nathan. Yeah, they no, all do. But what yeah. about the ones that are? Yeah, no, that's if the they problem, are, you know that? what I mean. Well, if they are, I, 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 well, yeah, what if I they know. are? Yeah. And because mistakes can happen at places. Yeah, it's, it's God. If, if it was if someone from another country, would be gone. We'd be throwing the book at it. Correct. Yeah. That's but right. it's Peter Bowl. We love him. He's a yeah. Perth guy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. But it's not looking good for him. There's not yep. many people, if any, no. that ever get a, get through this part without getting a suspension for plus 12 yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it, it's like they're saying these testing facilities are not fallible at all. Like, they, they, there's never any, there's never a mistake. And if that if that's the case, then no worries. But, like, if you are... Imagine if you are, yeah. Peter. Imagine if Peter is innocent and he is like knows that for a fact and then he has to wear this. Yeah. That's why I just think, where's the investigation going? Like, you know? 
Yeah, across, uh, you know, it's been going for a, a number of years. Well, if it know, was 20, a mistake, the years. B sample will show that. Yes. So if it was a processing mistake mm. of the A sample, then the B sample will not be positive. Can I just say but, that... So until you find out what that result is... The interesting... The thing, of, yeah, the thing about doing these samples, you're putting it... You're doing it yourself, right? So you're yeah. pouring the beaker of your own wee yeah. into a bottle and you're tightening yes. it absolutely yeah. jam shut and it cannot be open unless you kind of smash it open. It cannot yes. be tampered with... That's the sample. The until, only thing that until can it get, goes into the lab. Yeah. Yes. The only thing that can get mixed up is if those get, you know, yeah. I don't know, Swapped. my bottles and Nat's bottles get. Yeah. And yeah. They but they were. Yeah, it'd be like yeah. blood samples. They'd be labelled yeah. with, you know, um, uh, codes and barcodes and. Yeah, they like are. That, you so, read yeah. them out. You write them yeah. in the square. They yeah. read them back to you. Yeah. yeah. They, you put the stickers on themselves. Yeah. There's a lot. They're, to they're, it. They're, they're, the step by step process you would think would be. Fairly infallible. Oh, it's so but weird because I don't know Peter too well. I've done a couple of things in did yeah, did. charity things. Saw him at you know it's saw him guy. at brunch not long long ago. But um, yeah, you just think God, you seem you you, you for, for me he seems like a really honest. The, the other thing good about guy. it is that in all likelihood tomorrow night he was going to be named Young Australian of the Year. Like he, so he was the WA nominee, and the 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 general consensus was that it was going to be him. What happens now? Have they had a, you know, an emergency convening of the committee to, to God, have a think would've. about that? Really oh good like, can you? What can if you... I end up winning it? <laughs> Are you ready? I, the word was God. young, Nathan, young Australian no, of the year. We're in our thirties. We've talked about it several times on the show today. <laughs> oh, that makes it true. Okay. Well, yeah. Stay around so for so we'll remain to be seen. Rice. We'll see what happens. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.